Well, this midday, we continue to stay on top of the fallout from the Rich Neck School shooting last January, where a first grader pulled the trigger on his teacher. Reactions from attorneys and community members are pouring in this after the Newport News Special Grand Jury unsealed a scathing 31 page report indicting the school's former assistant principal, Dr. Ebony Parker. This is video of her court appearance today for an attorney advisement hearing. The judge made sure she understood the charges against her and she said, Yes, now she has another hearing set for May 17th, but there's a lot to tell you about today. We have coverage from that court hearing two news conferences and the response from community members on the lapses in security. But let's get right to 10 on your side. Andy Fox, who is live at the Newport News Courthouse with the latest Andy. The Commonwealth attorney says this is something citizens should be very concerned about. Oh, very concerned about and he's very concerned about it. Howard Gwynn, the Commonwealth's attorney for Newport News, made it clear that the special grand jury report speaks for itself. The news conference went on for about 30 minutes and he was saying that what happened at Rich Neck Elementary on January 6, 2023 is alarming, criminal, unbelievable. He began the news conference by saying the eyes of the nation turned to Newport News. A six year old brought a gun to school and shot his teacher, that there was clear evidence the child may have had a gun, that the administrators weren't listening, not acting on the information. I was appalled because my children went to public school here. I went to public school in Newport News. Um, the lapses in security were appalling and should never have happened. And I think anybody who read that report had the same reaction. How could this happen? How could this happen? How could these flaws, when they were brought to people's attention, because as you remember from the report, several parents said, we'll have a fundraiser to get some of these things fixed. And they were denied. And I think it's appalling. Anybody in this room or in this city should be concerned about it. I am also equally confident that those persons who had the opportunity to read that report were very troubled when they read the section on the effects on guardians and parents and children. Because as you know from the report, a number of the parents of the students in Mrs. Werner's classroom asked that their children be transferred to another school. And I'm sure that some of you, before you read that, you thought that the only victims in this case was Abby Schreiner. But when you read that section, you knew there were other victims. Howard Gwynn made it crystal clear that the special grand jury made it crystal clear about what they thought and about where they think this case should go. And you got the intense feeling that Howard Gwynn in his news conference is very confident in his case. I will have more at four, five and six in Newport News. Andy Fox, 10 on your side.